local weather with the KX Storm Team. You know, it really doesn't get much nicer uh, on a December 8th in North Dakota. I, I, mean, I suppose it could, but it'd be tough to do. Uh, we set some records today. That's right. Let me uh, show you what uh, these are in Bismarck. Uh, beat the old record of 56 by one degree. That old record was set back in 1939. Minot by one degree. The uh, record uh, 1939 and 2015. Dickinson tied the record set back in 1939. And Williston is actually starting the Almanac over this year, but still two degrees over the old Almanac record. So quite the day. And it is going to start cooling off a little bit. Now, it's not going to be a rapid cool down, but by the weekend you'll definitely notice it. And we will have mild overnight temperatures tonight. And I'm saying mild for December because many of the temperatures will be in the upper 20s and even some 30s in some places will have overnight lows above freezing tonight. And with that, I mean, those are actually warmer than a lot of daytime highs, normal daytime highs. It is going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, 10, 12, 14 degrees cooler than today, but today was record setting. Uh, there could be some rain or snow in the far north tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And then it uh, looks like a lot of places only in the 20s this weekend. Uh, in Bismarck, uh, and, I, and I promise it really isn't green in Bismarck. There we go, 52 degrees, southwest wind at 5, and beautiful night in Minot, 53 degrees, southwest wind is at 12. Uh, Williston still 50 degrees. 17 mile an hour wind and in Dickinson 51 degrees uh, west wind at nine miles an hour looks like a, a bit of a traffic uh, thing going on in Dickinson don't see that a whole lot and here are some of the other temperatures across western North Dakota well actually the whole state if you think about it because I've got Grand Forks up there at 36 uh, Fargo at 43 but in our area the southwest still in the 50s right now at uh, five o'clock at night Central Time. Uh, we're still looking at low 50s, upper 40s in uh, Washburn right now. Uh, looks like Watford City right in the heart of the Bakken at 54 degrees. Velvet still 48. Turtle Lake 47. Again, December. This is just amazing weather. Now it is a little bit breezy, and it's actually going to stay breezy for a while tonight. Uh, we're looking at right now 5 to 15 miles an hour most places. Now I think uh, there is Williston maybe a little bit stronger, but overall 5 to 15 uh, most locations. But with temperatures above 50 degrees, you don't get a wind chill. So that's still very, very nice. So here's our precision cast, and I'm actually starting at 10 o'clock tonight because. Really, between now and then, nothing's going to happen. Maybe a few clouds still have some color in those wind streams there, telling me it's still going to be a little bit breezy, a little more cloud cover in the uh, northwest. And then by uh, tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, many areas and a lot of it east of Highway 83, a little more, uh, a little higher chance of a clear sky, but you can see there might be a few clouds early in the day. Uh, certainly not going to be windy tomorrow morning. Now the wind will pick up a little bit tomorrow and then by tomorrow afternoon uh, disturbance which is mainly going to be into Canada is going to possibly bring a little bit of maybe a few sprinkles along the international border counties. You can see that there seven o'clock at night. Most of it again uh, well up in Canada but might sneak down into North Dakota and then during the overnight hours tomorrow night looks like there might be a little uh, freezing rain maybe a little bit of snow, yellow wind streams overnight means it's going to be pretty windy. And then uh, Thursday morning, we're going to start off fairly cloudy. So the next 72 hours for Dickinson, 50s and down to 30. So temperatures are going to drop off, 40s down to the 30s in Williston. Tonight, 20s. 30s and then daytime temperatures tomorrow 30s 40s even some 50s just not quite as warm as today so here's a look at the Bismarck seven day and you can see how these temperatures come down and then they get back into the 20s and these kind of numbers are going to be obviously it's going to feel colder Lauren but you know what it's still going to be fairly close to average that's very true getting back to what we're used to yeah thank you so much yeah. next in our five at five